What is plasma device? The device produces a ionized electrical arc, which vaporizes micromillimeter dots on the epidermis and sometimes the dermis. The device actually doesn't touch the skin. The ablation then causes the surrounding skin to contract. And the healing process also promotes new collagen synthesis. It is important to note that different plasma devices vary in wattages and frequencies. This results in different energy they deliver. In essence, some causes more tissue damage than others. Do also note that the devices designed are for specific indications. Higher energy is not necessarily better as it depends on the condition uh, treated and also the skill of the operator. Higher energy will cause more ablation this leads to more downtime and also PIH and risk of scarring. What is plasma pen used for? In general, they can be classified into three groups. Skin tightening, resurfacing and lesions removal. The effect depends on how the plasma device is being applied and also the energy it delivers. The first is skin tightening. This includes lifts, wrinkle removal by using the dot technique. This is particularly effective for the upper eyelids in patients who are skin type 1 and 3 and also those who have thin and loose skin. It removes redundant skin and wrinkles, resulting in lifting of the upper eyelids. The same can be applied to the neck also. Repeated treatments may be necessary depending on the condition treated and also the skill of the operator. There are scabs which are, will fall off in about 7 to 10 days. Side effects include swelling, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation in darker skin patients. The risk of scarring is low in trained hands. The second application is performing the spray technique. This is similar to fractional resurfacing lasers where there are tiny dots of skin being ablated which is spread over an area. Depending on the use, it could be compared to laser peel. It ablates the skin in the upper layers of the skin then peels off and the result is new collagen formation. This can be applied all over the face. The third application is lesion removal by using a focus technique. This device may be used in benign skin lesions such as skin tags, cherry angiomas and seborrheic keratosis.